Welcome back, everyone. Hope everyone's doing okay. All right. Let's get right to it, shall we? Starting off over here in Cabo San Lucas. As you can see, before the sun ever even begins to come into the frame, the dark shaded area on the left. And as the sun comes in, it's going to cloud up a bit. I did happen to notice a couple strange things when I was looking at the preview. Right over here in the uh, on the left hand side of the screen. Coming in right there. You see those? One, two, three things right there. Uh, those just caught my eye. But also you can see on the far right of the screen, the sunlight is being pushed down and under, forcing it to spread out horizontally instead of just illuminating the rest of the sky. And now we're starting to see what it's going, been going around as it lights up for a slight minute while the sun goes down. Another location right away. We can see the shadows casting everywhere as the sun dips in behind that planet. We can also see the how the light's coming up around and between these areas. See how the light's coming out the other side a different color? Yeah, I bet you thought that was the sun on the right, didn't you? <laughs> nope, that's the sun light reflecting off something else. As you can see, there's really no clouds in the sky. Those are all space clouds, I guess. Otherwise, it would have looked pretty rainy. All right. Over here to Monterey, where the uh, great big volcano is there on the right. As we can see, I mean, look at the clouds up on top up there. Those, those aren't our clouds. Those are space clouds. They don't even go to the horizon. They just keep going up and out. They just disappear. And you can see the sun getting pinched up. Just like you would expect it to be doing as it's going past, you know, a smaller planet. See how it's coming out the top and the bottom? And along the edge of it, seeing cast shadows up in the sky. You see where the light's coming out all the way around that little planet towards the horizon there. So it's going all the way around. Now it hits the bottom of it. And then you get all that extra flashing going on. That's just the light reflecting off the other planet. And the sun's going down on the far left off the screen. So let's just watch that the area towards the right. See how it just starts getting darker as the sun starts to come in. That's called a cast shadow. These cast shadows show you where these planets are. They also show you that they are there. See all the clouds up on the top up there are just not getting any light on the right hand side of the screen. They, they won't until the sun gets low enough to actually illuminate them again. As you can see, there's a great big planet there. The sun is being blocked on the left. Now we're starting to get some light. See that? As the sun gets lower, it starts to actually illuminate the things that weren't illuminated before. Normally there's so much light in the sky. I mean, cast shadows and all that wouldn't even be noticeable. But with a lot of things in front of the sun, there's going to be a lot of shadows 
as there's less light in the sky, we're starting to notice a lot more shadows up there. I just had to back up and look at that one spot again. Those two streaks of whatever that is. I thought it might be something on the lens, but apparently not because it shaded up that whole side and they thought it was probably a good idea to reduce the size of the sky so they pointed the camera down a little more so we wouldn't have such a lovely view of whatever was going on up there they tend to do that a lot on this site cutting bits of footage you know it just seems dumb to me and as you can see the sun coming down is coming down around something because the light is like a just wrapping around the whole one side of it there's the cast shadow on the left have you ever noticed those halos are nothing but a cast shadow think about it wow that is cool look at that I mean, the halos are always dark. Anything beyond them are, is usually dark, too. That's when the sun is behind a planet completely. Like, right there, it's coming off around the edge of it, as you can see. Our clouds are just moving around here at the bottom. It's being split by two right now, up top. Those are cast shadows. Oh, more cast shadow, big one on the left. Lots of green on the right coming in. You can see the light just reflected off of something else there on the left as well. All right. Also, you can tell the sun is coming down around the back side of something because there's a huge shadow over to the left. And we can see the glare on the, on the lens. Ignore it. We're looking at the area right next to the sun and just past it. See where the shadows are casting across the sky? Kind of hard to miss, really. And then as the sun gets lower, all that dark area all of a sudden starts to illuminate. And there's obviously a smaller moon or something up there casting more shadow. And again, the sun goes down off the far left of the screen. This is now the 11th. The footage before was from the 10th. And as you can see on the right-hand side, again, getting darker as the sun comes down and casts a shadow across the rest of the uh, right-hand side of the screen there on the upper. As it gets lower, that area will start to illuminate again. But that just goes to show there is something there. Otherwise, it wouldn't be dark. See how it's just reflecting all that light all the way till the end? Bam. Well, I guess that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. See you next time.